So these are what we call um, large vessels that hold or feed for the animal cells. So this is a like a 6,000 liter vessel that is holding all the animal feed or the animal cell feed. It's going to have a mix of all nutrients. If you look in here, through here you can see the, there's fluid in there and there's mixed with nutrients like vitamins and minerals, oxygen, all of that is mixed in there. And that becomes the clean feed for the animal cells. Yeah, so cultivated meat is meat. Like I said, it's not a meat alternative. It's meat that's grown from real animal cells. So what we do is we take really high quality animal cells from let's say a cow or a pig or a chicken or a lobster, and we look for cells that can continue to grow outside the animal in a very robust and a healthy way. It's a huge landmark decision for the field because it's the first time the FDA has ever approved cultivated meat in the world. And as pioneers of this field, we've been working with the FDA for about four years and working with them to develop a very rigorous uh, pathway for safety and the approval of the FDA green light means that FDA agrees with the vigorous and the thorough evaluation we've done and agrees that our product is safe for the consumers to, uh, to, to, to have. And yeah, we're waiting for it to come to market once USDA gives us a label and a grant of inspection to, to sell.